good day folks welcome to the MD Wildman channel you know over the years I've been fortunate fortunate enough to take a few trophies or you know some some animals that really meant something to me right so they were a lasting memory or you know I had a chance to take them with my grandfather or <clears throat> you know my dad or something like that and uh I've had the opportunity to get some of those animals mounted or stuffed or you know some combination of the two um, the problem is, if you're anything like me, you know, they go up on the wall and we look at them all the time and we bring back those memories, but we don't really care for them or take care of them the way that we're supposed to. So uh, in, in today's video, I just want to show you a real quick way that you can clean and take care of your mounts, especially those mounts that have real fine hair. Uh, I'm not talking about a deer mount, um, just talking about, you know, like if something you got out on the trap line or whatever that might be. So uh, listen, if you haven't yet subscribed to the Wildman channel, we sure would appreciate it. We're shooting hard for that 10,000 subscriber mark by the end of the year. It's um, <clears throat> October the 7th today. And uh, hopefully we'll get this video up pretty quick. So we're shooting for uh, another couple thousand subscribers. We just topped 8,000. So we'd like to have 10,000 by the end of the year. Um, if you uh, like the content, feel free to subscribe. As always, questions, comments, you know, whatever you got, leave those in the comment section down below. We'll get back to you as soon as we possibly can on those. All right, so today we're going to be looking at a bobcat mount. Now, this cat, um, I don't know if you can see it. It actually it lives right up on the wall right there. Just one sec. Ah, I don't know if you can see that for the light or not. That fluorescent light's a killer. But you see that cat up there? Right there. That's the first bobcat that I ever caught, uh, ever, when, as I was trapping. So he was my uh, he was my pride and joy for a long time, and as you can see, I got like a half mount of him done jumping through the wall. Um, but he's been up there just like that for goodness I don't know how long uh, years anyway, and I haven't really done much with him. You can see in the bottom here he's all kind of he's all kind of covered in cobwebs and super super dusty, right? So I'm gonna bring him down and uh, I'm gonna show you what I do to to uh, to clean him up and get him looking just like new again. Okay, so here he is down off the wall, and he is not in great shape. Um, you know, the, 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 the mounting job, the tanning job was great, and the, the taxidermist that did it uh, did an A1 job. So, I mean, there's no hair slippage or anything like that, but he's just, he's dusty. Um, he's got cobwebs on him. You know, he just needs a real good clean and brought back to life. So, uh, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to start out with a hair dryer and uh, one that you can set to cool is better, especially if you've got like a fine haired animal like a bobcat. Now, if you've got a heavier haired animal, if you're gonna you know, clean up a bear mount or maybe even a coyote mount, you can use an air compressor as long as you have like a dispersal nozzle on the end. You don't want direct you know, pressure uh, that'll blow the hairs out or, or bend it uh, against the grain. So what all you wanna do now to do this, watch the uh, claws are sharp on this boy, but um, what you want to do is you just want to put your hair dryer on cool and you want to blow as much dust and dirt and grime off them as you can but you need to follow the hair so wherever the hair whatever the pattern is you need to go with that it's all right if you fluff the hair up a little bit uh, you just don't want to push it against the grain too much okay so if the hair does sort of you know fluff up and it, and it kind of disperses the uh the dust and stuff from down underneath it that's okay uh, you just don't want to push against the grain too, too much. Okay, so we've got, basically we got all the dust and the cobwebs and all that route kind of blown off him. And uh, he's already looking a lot better than he was when I brought him down off the wall. His fur is coming back to life some and and uh and all that no real hair slippage like i said so he's in he's in pretty good shape um the next thing we're going to do is we're going to kind of treat and preserve really clean the hair um of this guy before we put him back up on the wall and uh this will bring him right back to life real quick now that he's all dusted off what you're going to need uh is a comb just a regular you know old-fashioned good old grampy's comb right for parting your hair to the side or whatever it is that people did with combs like that and some Windex or glass cleaner. It doesn't have to be Windex. I don't sell Windex, I'm not, you know, a Windex fan. Uh, just any glass cleaner will do. Once you get your Windex or regular glass cleaner, whatever you want, um, you don't want to spray it right on the fur, okay? You don't want to soak it in the Windex. What you want to do is basically just spray it on the comb. And then more or less just comb the fur 
I comb the hair. Now it's going to get wet a little bit and that's okay. Um, if you find that the really fine bristles aren't letting you kind of comb through, right? Great. Right, yeah, you can use the wider ones. I know these combs, if you can see it, these combs have like a narrow side on this side and then a wider one on this side. So if you want to use the wide side, that's fine. Um, basically, you just want to comb this and what you'll, what you'll be able to see is that it's kind of wetting it down some, but it's also pulling any um, loose hairs out, right? Any, anything that was kind of scraggly, right? We're even getting a little bit there now, right? Just on the very, very back. Um, anything like that and pulling out any dirt, any dust or dirt that was in there. Of course, you're going to make sure you go with the grain of the hair. You don't want to comb against it. That'll stand it up, especially where it's wet. Okay, so you want to do all over as best you can. Hey, look, while I've got you here and we're uh, kind of going through this, we uh, the MB Wildman channel's got a new Instagram page. So if you'd like to uh, jump on and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, uh, that'd be great. So we're going to be posting some behind the scenes stuff and some different stuff that we don't put up here on YouTube. We'll be putting that up on the Instagram page. Um, just some different new stuff on Instagram. So feel free to, to follow us on Instagram. It'll just be like hashtag NB Wildman or whatever. Um, look at that bring his belly right back to life, right? So that was all dusty and dirty. We're getting a little bit of hair, um, mostly from the, from the very back of him where he was connected together. That's okay. But uh, that bring that right back to life. All right, so look how, look how nice and white and shiny brings the spots right out. Look at that, beautiful. Okay, just like a brand new cat again. Okay, so you've taken the time and you've sprayed your Windex and you've combed, you know, you've combed all the fur. Um, the only other step to do is take a clean paper towel and you're going to wipe them down just to take any excess of the liquid or you don't, what you don't want moisture, right? Especially if you're going to hang them or have them hanging outside in the garage like I have. You don't want any moths or any little bugs or whatever to be attracted to that moisture. So, ooh, sharp claws. So go ahead and just wipe them down. Make sure that you've gotten all of the any excess of your Windex or glass cleaner off of them. There shouldn't be too much, but you can even see now that wiping them off, see there's still some dirt, right? That's coming off now that you're wiping that off. So it's real great to get that off there as well. If you want to clean them up, you know, the right way. Uh, the only other thing you're going to want to check and make sure of is that where they, especially with a mount like this one that attaches to the wall kind of flat with a, with a wooden peg, the fur gets wrapped around there and sometimes you can get bugs or like little moths or beetles or whatever it is that'll get between the wall and the, your mount, right? And they'll, they'll, sometimes they can lay their little eggs or their little larva in there or whatever. So just kind of when you're cleaning this up, make sure that there's none of those little shells or little bugs or anything in there. Typically there isn't because there's no real food here for them, right? But um, there are a certain couple different kinds of moths that do eat hair. So you want to make sure that they haven't laid any little eggs in there or anything like that. But, um, you know, other than that, now this guy, right? So he's back to looking like a million bucks. He's super clean. He's shiny. He's beautiful hair, right? Face is good again, like all nice. Right, his underbelly is just as soft and clean, right? So, not something that you gotta do all the time, of course, you know, you don't have to pull this thing down and, and clean it like you, you vacuum your living room floor, but every couple of years, you know, depending on the environment that he's in, maybe even once a year, if you're in a dusty or dirtier environment than, than what, what we've got here in the skin and shed, but um, for the most part, just kind of when you notice that they're getting dusty and, and and they're losing their color some. Usually it's because they're covered in, you know, grime and stuff. So just pop them off. This only took us 10 minutes, right, to, uh, to clean him up. And he'll be ready to go back up on the wall. So anyway, listen, I hope this is something that can help you out. And uh, like I said, hit us up on Instagram. Follow us on there. And until next time, happy hunting from the MB Wildman channel.